So today we have Arsenal versus Chelsea in this um, new tournament, the Mind Series as they call it. Well, it's not a tournament, it's just a series of games. Um, but how did they do? Well, how did we do? Um, I actually thought Arsenal did okay. All right, we know the end result, but if you break it down, um, Arsenal had a lot of good play where we would pass well, um, be in control, um, and you'll get you know two, three minute spell of just being in control. Um, Chelsea not really causing a major threat, and then occasionally we make a silly mistake and then it brings Chelsea in. But if you take those brackets of time and say, do you know what, we have a good three, four minute spell of time where we're we're we're, we're dominating. Then they have their little go and then we have another three, four minutes spell of time. That's what I want to see. Um, and if I'm playing like that, if my team's playing like that, um, then you're going to get goals. Which is what I'm saying. It's all, it's going to come. Um, but some people look at the end result. They, 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 they throw a big tantrum and they get all upset. And they judge it as if it's the same of same as a game, you know, like when you're getting battered. Where... You know, you know, like those games where you'll be against Barcelona in their prime, where you're, you're not getting the ball and they're just peppering shots like constantly. And you're lucky if you get one shot and they've had about 15. That's different. You get you get battered, you know. All right, you know, with those kind of games, you have every right to, to say, oh, do you know what I mean? But if, we, if you're in control and it's just the result didn't go your way, look at the positives because all you want your team to do is do that in the next game. Um, and the way Arsenal played when we were positive, that's how I would like us to play. Because if you think about it, Chelsea was very tight. It was hard hard to get through. And all the little chances we were creating, they were very tight. A lot of them with Pepe. Um, he still managed him to wiggle his way through and get a shot off. Um, majority of teams in the Premier League won't be that tight. So if you're playing like that, again, the, the chances will come and the goals will come. Um, I like the way Pepe was playing. He looked like he's still taking that same positive, um, that positive energy that he had from the end of last season. So it looks looks good if he's going to bring that into this season. Um, Aubameyang still looks like he's still trying to obviously find, get that confidence back, but he's in the right places. Do you know what I mean? And keep going. You know what I mean? The goal will come. Um, uh, Lacazette was tidy as well. You know, quick footwork and, you know, laying people off. I was really impressed with um, um, Eddie Nketiah when he came on because you I just see him as that goal poacher type, type player who would just get the goals now and then. But today he was doing all sorts of footwork, dribbling, playing around on the wings, like bringing people in. That was that's probably one of the best I've seen, seen him play. And he didn't even score, but that's the best. And I'm like, whoa, this player looks strong. Like this looks like a new player. Now, if that's how he is moving forward, then that's the kind of player I'd like to see keep you know around. But I was the first to say, boy, I'm not I'm not too sure about Eddie. Um, but yeah, even like Willock came on was trying to do his thing as well. Um, I was really impressed with. Um, What's it, the new player, um, um, Tavares? Um, he, oh my gosh, he, I didn't realise he, he has, he's great with his footwork. Um, he's a clever player. So I like the way he was, yeah, I like the way he was playing on the wings, causing problems um, and putting some crosses in. Um, so yeah, I was happy with that. I mean, defensively, um, we was okay. I like Tierney. He's always, you know, I like the way Tierney plays in general. Um, I never really have a problem with him because he's, he's, he's quite safe in the sense of you know what you're getting. Obviously, people can make mistakes, but I like that about Tierney. He's, he's, he's a solid select. Like, if you're just selecting people on a team sheet, you're just, he's one of them you're, you could put first quite easily. Um, but uh, uh, Bellerin came on. I mean, I'm not going to crucify him for his, you know, his mistake. If you look at it carefully, he kind of just misjudged it, as you can see. Um, and the player who passed to just didn't continue to run. So it, these things can happen. Um, but again, we just sort of minimise making mistakes. Mistakes happen, but you've got to minimise them. Leno, Leno was great with the one-on-ones today, stopping them. But he was, you know, he, he made a few mistakes with um, other aspects to his game. So that, all that you've got to iron out. Um, but yeah, overall, you know, I'm happy with, you know, the new signings and how we're playing. And what, what you have to check is, you have to look at, the game on a whole, or you have to look at how you're like, you know, people look at the, the result and they go, oh, you lost 2-1. You know, we even scored a goal that was disallowed. Do you know what I mean? But generally, you've got to look at how you lost. Now, if you're playing a game like Barca in their prime, where they've got 80% possession, peppering 15 to 20 shots, and you're lucky if you get two shots on goal, that means you got battered, all right? Um, and then they beat you 6-7-0. You got battered. So you have every right to be upset. 
But if it's a game where you're dominating or you're having clear spells where you're in control, creating chances, hitting the post, um, getting saved, and you lose by one goal or two, then that's like, you know what, we lost, I'm disappointed. But the way we played is exactly the way I want you to play. You know, that's how I want you to play next week. But just hopefully you'll get them in. So some people are unable to understand the difference between types of losses. They just see the loss and then they just go into over meltdown, overload, do you know what I mean? Um, but I, I, look, I assess it. Like, for example, the beginning of the season, we lost 10 games um, or whatever it was in a row, more or less. Um, and that's terrible. Do you know what I mean? No team wants that. But if that's happening, what do you want? You want to see a change, don't you? And Arteta found a way to, um, with the players he had, found a way to claw back some results. And to be honest, the second, the second half of the season and, and the, the last two thirds of the season was very positive. You know, was not the same team getting battered 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 games in a row or whatever it was. So although, you know, if you check it, Arsenal was then went, went from losing 10 games to winning five, maybe losing one. Win another five, maybe lose one. And that's fine. Because if you look at what it was, that is the direction you want to go. It just so happened that they, they kept winning and then they lost one, which happened to be what? The the the, the cup game, the, the, was it the semis or the final or whatever. So that happened. But some people were like, oh, we lost. Okay, we did. But if you look at how we've grown and how we're moving forward from our terrible start, we're moving in the right direction. Um, and also you've got to look at, again, just look at how you lose. But people don't do that. They just look at that. They just, they, they probably don't even watch the game. They look at the result and then they go into meltdown. So, um, yeah, I would like to have won. But again, I'm just more looking at moving forward. The team we have, you know, don't know the vision, whether it's all these youngsters, if that's the way forward. This is the team we have. Um, if we can keep playing positive. Do you know what? The passing is actually a lot. It's getting better. The passing is getting really... In places, it's getting a lot better. Um, almost, I don't want to say it, but almost to that how... Actually, no, nah, it's nowhere near. But do you remember that time when Arsenal was playing, um, you know, no one could get the ball off Arsenal, where we had the best passing team in the world, um, arguably on level of Barcelona at the time. But um, the, only, the only downside to that team is we had no forward, like no proper forward. If you invested in a forward at that time, you've got the best passing team in the world. That main forward would have got a bag of goals. But anyway... So is, you know, such is life. So anyway, but we're, we're passing well. Because I remember, I think, last season or the season before, there was a time where we weren't even playing nice. We were just playing. It was like, oh, it was really ugly to see. So now, with the passing, it means that we're more going to be in control of large portions of the game. Um, and with that, it means you're going to create chances. And with that, you're going to create goals. So I'm happy with for that. And I know that for for teams that aren't as good as Chelsea, we should dominate and should, should get results. Um... For this season, what do I think is going to happen? I actually think we're going to claw. I actually think we're going to have an okay start, right? Again, it doesn't mean we're, we're up there at all. I just think we're going to have an okay start, better than we're going to be in a better position than people expect us to be in November and December. Now, what the club choose to do with that information, that's the problem, isn't it? Because sometimes they see it as, you know what, we're a bit lucky. We're on the top half of the table. Let's let's build on this and you know get some reinforcements in January. Or certain other managers, like how Wenger did do it one time, he'll be like, he looked at it and be like, oh, we was second on the table, not realising we scraped our way there. But he was like, oh, we're the dog's bollocks. So then he wouldn't buy anybody. And that was that was the worst because you're like, if you're realistic and honest, you, you realise you were there by fortunate games that just happened in your favour. So based on that now, you're thinking, we're lucky to be up here. Let's actually buy some more players to help us. So anyway, it's down to what happened. So... My my prediction for this season is that we will have a better start than many people predict. We'll be in a good position. Uh, whether we can continue throughout the new year or whether the, the club builds on it, I don't know. But that's that's my that's my that's my um my hunch for now. Um, yeah, we'll take it from there. But anyway, that's me. Um, well, that's a big big ten minutes, man. But yeah, this is my digital um review um of Arsenal versus Chelsea on the first of August, twenty twenty one. Uh, take care.